also, we mentioned Penix and McCarthy and Jaden Daniels being your guys, John Beck. That's about, I don't know what the exact percentage is, 15 to 20% of the Washington Commander's final top 30 Palooza that they had <laughs> together. Yeah. What, 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 what's your two cents on, on that? On why, they're all, why they all went together? What did you think of it? I mean, I just, you know, look, I would say Adam Peters, I know Adam really well. Yes. And I think he's doing what he wanted to do. Saying that this What's will, the idea behind it? I don't know, you know. Okay. Um, I think some of it's surrounded, you know, when, when, when ownership gets a chance to meet guys. Yes. You know, I'm sure that probably played into a bit of the scheduling of making sure that, hey, everybody that's in this building wants to know who could potentially be the face of our franchise, including the owner. I'm sure some of that stuff played into it. Did you um, prep them for what? When you heard they were going, that no, the, to prep them like this is what teams have spoken to them. Our prep a lot deals with the pre, you know, combine, combine interviews, you know, private workouts and all that stuff. Um, you know, at, like at this point in time, they have a good idea. They just kind of want one final little like, all right, let's like kind of do this one more time. But, but what's the one more? You know, what I, I mean? don't know. Like, I mean, look, top golf and. I mean, a lot of the times it's in the building. Like, like a lot of the times it's let's walk them through the building. Let's introduce them to all the people in the building. Let's just see on mass what would it be like if they came into our building. Um, I mean, look, all three of them are great dudes. Like, I can give you tons and tons of reasons of why all three of them would be great picks. Um, And I can also tell you why, regardless of NFL franchises, where all of those guys, I would say, I hope that this or this or this does not happen to them, because like I just don't. Don't think that there are just quarterbacks that are immune to disaster. Like, throw me in a disaster, and it'll just go great because you picked me. Like, I don't agree with that at all. I think it's the—I love the sport because it's a team sport. It's very hard on quarterbacks because it's a team sport at times. And it's very great for quarterbacks because it's a team sport at times. It's the ultimate challenge for, you know, you have ownership, you have administration, you have coaches, you have players, you have all of these things. And there's this figurehead of the quarterback— And so much of it flows towards him, good or bad. The crap from upstairs flows down towards the quarterback. And the great that the room creates helps lift that quarterback. Well, I've heard so many theories, again, on my phone, text calls about this Washington commander's prospect of Palooza being they wanted to just jam everybody together and see who might, um, you know, wind up being in in the punch bowl. You know what I mean? And sticking out. Yeah, um, I mean, people sometimes do that. Or or they're like, you know, uh, last uh, 20, 30 years in this town with this franchise, we've had um, a reputation, and we want to show everybody, hey, in four to five years from now, if you're a free agent, you saw what we were like. You know, like, I, 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 other than that, though, I just don't understand bashing everybody together, or at least I shouldn't say that because I, I wasn't there, just bringing everyone together together. When you can have a one-on-one time with them. Yeah, you know? I mean, I'm not saying this because this is why they did it. I'm just thinking, like, if I was in that situation, you know, sometimes it's not bad to, like, sometimes if you meet somebody and then you spend a day or two and then you meet somebody else and then you spend a day or two and then the third person comes in, now you're potentially four or five days removed from the first person. I got you. So maybe there's an element of, look, we can bring all of them in. We can have our ownership here. We can have everybody right here. And we're going to see them on the same day in the same environment, in the same everything, and we'll create some one-on-one time. You know, and look, again, I'm not saying that's what happened. I have no idea sure. what happened, but I'm just kind of saying this maybe is what happened. Like a chance to like, I see you, I've made time, hour, then I see you, I see you. Okay, now let's go talk. We were all seeing the same guys on the same day in the same building, in the same atmosphere. Mm. It's not one in Baton Rouge, one in North Carolina, another in Seattle. Like it's everybody in our spot at the same time. Because okay. I think sometimes when you do the private workouts, you hop on a private jet, the staff flies over, you work a guy out, then you go back to your place, you sit and talk about it. Hey, we got two days later, we're going to do the private jet thing for another workout. So now you're seeing your three or four guys in a two-week window. How fresh in your mind is really that time you spent with that first guy. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.